Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about first and second declension nouns. So now we've already looked at the basic features of nouns. So we looked at declension, we looked at number, we looked at gender, we looked at case, and we also, as a brief sign up, we talked a bit about the definite article. Now we're actually going to look at an, some actual nouns in Latin. So we're going to take three examples, one for each gender. So for the so for the feminine, we're going to go with um, the noun prella, which is first declension. So I haven't, I don't have space, but um, here, um, first stands for just first declension, but I, I didn't, I didn't write declension. Um, then we're going to go with master dominus for second declension masculine nouns, and we're going to go with bellum war for second declension neuter nouns. So as you can see, you ha we have the gender up here. We have the case here and down here, and then we have singular and plural, because obviously you can have one girl, but you could also have, you know, more than one girl. So you need to have two different sets of cases for each the singular, for both the singular and the plural. So, um, I mean, it's, it's pointless for me to read out each of these different forms, but you can see it on the screen. I'll just point out some similarities, perhaps. So some of the similarities that I found very helpful when I was learning this stuff is um, the is at the uh, um, for the date of an ablative plural. So you can see here, is is is. Oops. So is 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 is. That's very useful. And then also in the accusative plural, you have the s ending so although the vowel is different you have dominos um and you have puelas nevertheless the s is you know the same the s remains um and then you have the same in the accusative singular but instead of an s it's an m so am and um again the vowel is different but the m stays and in fact in this case in the neuter So one thing to point out about this is that in black, I've just got the stem. So puel, let's take this first declension noun. Puel is the stem, and then onto the stem, you add the endings. So just like verbs, you get your stem, and then onto that stem, you add your endings. And here I've, I've included the hyphen just to, to distinguish the stem from the ending. But of course, you wouldn't write that hyphen in, you know, in the actual Latin. So, an important thing to note is that most first declension nouns, if pretty much all first declension nouns, are feminine. Okay, there are only a few exceptions to that. So, you have the noun nauta, which is sailor, agricola, which is farmer, and pirata, which is pirate. Actually, as well, poeta, which means poet. Those four nouns are first declension nouns, but they are not feminine. They are actually masculine. Um, but don't don't worry too much about them. They're a tiny minority. The vast, vast, vast majority, and I cannot reiterate that enough, um, the vast, 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 vast majority of first declension nouns are feminine, not masculine. There are only a few that are masculine. However, for second declension nouns, pretty much all of them, in fact, I think literally all of them are either masculine or neuter. And then you can see that because they're both, both the masculine and the neuter are second declension, you can really see the similarities. So, I'll, in a different colour, um, you can see that the genitive, dative, and ablative, okay, is the same for both genders. Okay? Yeah? These are all the same. And then you have obviously the similarities between dominum and bellum. They're the same. Um, but yeah, generally neuter nouns have a few differences. So neuter nouns always have a different accusative or uh, well, sometimes accusative, but always they have a different, usually have a different nominative ending. 
um, to the masculine ones. Also, one thing about neuter nouns to really um, remember is that the neuter accusative and nominative forms are always the same, every single time, always, and there are actually no exceptions to that rule. So neuter accusative and nominative, always the same. So you can see here, bellum, bellum, they're the same, and then bella, bella, they're the same. So in the singular and the plural, the nominative and the accusative are the same. And then on top of that, in the plural, the nominative and accusatives always, always, always end in A, every time, okay? And there are no exceptions to that either. Okay, so now we've looked at some nouns. We're going to try and bring together all our knowledge of nouns and verbs so far. So let's try and remember all the information from also previous units and tr let's try and bring it together in this little exercise. So we've got a few sentences here, a couple sentences here, sorry, one in, one in Latin, one in English, and we're going to try and translate them. So the first sentence is from Latin to English. Amicus puellam amat. So, as usual, let's I we have the verb at the end. Okay? Verb at the end. And then let's try and maybe I guess the first step to do is to identify what the nouns mean. And then the second step is to understand how they fit in and their functions. So amicus, we haven't come across this noun, so I'm just gonna tell you what it means. Amicus is a friend. So amicus means friend, and puelam, we've already come across, that means girl, and amat is the verb, and it means love, okay? Now, amicus is in the nominative case. If you think back to what we just learnt, dominus, dominus, dominum, domini, domino, domino, Dominos, sorry, domini, dominos, dominorum, dominis, dominis, okay? Amicus is the nominative singular. Therefore, it has to be the subject, because as we said, the nominative is for the subject. Then we have puelam. Now, that M ending, right, we came across, and that is the accusative ending, if you recall. Therefore, if it's the accusative, we know that it must be the object. So, friend is the subject, girl is the object, and love is obviously the verb. Therefore, we can say the sentence means the friend loves the girl. And as you may remember from a previous unit, you can add in the definite article as you please. There's no separate word for it in Latin. Therefore, if you think it makes more sense with the definite article, just add it in. So, I'm happy with that. Hopefully, you're happy with that. That's quite a basic sentence. Again, you've got the subject, object, verb, word order, the SOV word order, which is very common in Latin. So, the friend loves the girl. That is correct. Okay, so a little bit harder now. We're actually going to go into Latin this time. So, first thing to do, going from English to Latin, is to identify the subject, the verb, and the object. So, in this case, the master is the subject, it's the thing doing the action, because the master is building. And then the villa is the object, because it's having the action done to it, because it's being built. So, the master is the subject, the villa is the object. We've come across the word for the master, it's just dominus. Um, we haven't come across the word for villa, but it's actually just the same in Latin. It's just villa. Okay, and it's a first declension feminine noun. And we haven't come across the word for build either. It goes like ammo. And it's just idifico. So idifico is I build. So let's do it. So the master. That's going to be the subject, therefore it has to go in the nominative case, so dominus. Then let's have the object next, as is convention in Latin, although, as I said before, it doesn't really matter. So, vil is the stem, 
And then we need the object, so we want the accusative here, so it's going to be Willam. By the way, if you notice, I pronounce the V almost as a W. Um, Latin speakers often, well, did that. At, so, um, I mean, you don't have to, but it, it's that's what I was taught when I was learning Latin. And then builds, I did fi. That's the stem. And then because it's third person singular, we just have one master. It's going to be I did fi cat. Okay. So that is the correct answer.